Hello everyone, welcome back to Sorky Farmstead. So as you can see, we are utilizing the biochar pit. Now let me tell you what we're doing wrong before I tell you what we're doing right. Everything should have been a little more compacted into the pit. It should have only been dead stuff though. You can burn green, it's just that green is moist. So it's never gonna hit the temperature that I needed to hit. And the last thing I should have done and I did not was check to make sure I was totally sealed at the bottom so that as I am making the biochar, I'm doing it in the absence of oxygen high heat. So really, most likely what I'm gonna get out of this is a mix of biochar and a little bit of charcoal. I just wanted to give you guys a little bird's eye view of how my garden's growing. Now, what may look like weeds to some of you is actually pollinator habitat, native species to Southeast Louisiana intermingled with things like this, which is sweet potato, squash, cucumbers. So what you've got going on here almost would look like your traditional gardens in places like England. It is food mixed in with nature, folks. Because I'm growing my food this way, I have one water sprinkler for an entire quarter acre market garden. And unless it rains, the garden pretty much is not getting watered. Then how do you grow food, Sam? Because the more roots that you have in your soil, the more water your soil will absorb, folks. The more variety of roots in your soil, the more bacteria and fungi are present in your soil. I don't fertilize this the way that you might fertilize your garden. I use worm castings. And I use rabbit manure when I transplant the plant or I plant the seed. Other than that, I depend on foil, foiler sprays to give my plants a boost. But because my soil is heavy mulched and there are a variety of roots down in that clay soil, the plants that I'm growing for food are thriving. I hope this helps you guys. I hope it gives you a better understanding of how you too can grow food without toxic chemicals and without tilling the soil. If you're curious, that is a watermelon plant and a sweet potato plant legitimately growing side by side. So there's a lot of combination growing in this garden. There's a lot of herbs and flowering plants in this garden. There are bees, there are butterflies, dragonflies, and birds. Okay, so Savannah is out here this morning working hard, folks. We did some trimming around the trees this weekend. Had a lot of low lying limbs. You've got to manage your property, all right? So Steve came out, used the pole saw, trimmed these trees down. You can see where the biochar is being made. That's a long distance carrying fresh green plants so we're stacking them here until they dry out and uh god bless her folks she cleaned up under three trees essentially by herself